So in this video, it's going to be chain on, flywheel on, power valve end caps on. I'm going to put, put them on now. Exhaust on, carb on, and just the tank on, and then put in the yard. Just got that. That's the way the restrictor pin pops through. But I've lost it. Like the restrictor pins there on that side, and it would be going into that hole on that side. But a, a pin out of the the middle of the power valves, them two little pins, them fit. But anyway, just this power valve isn't restricted. So I've like like that. Yamaha don't make these gaskets anymore. So you've got to buy some, it's a, it's either three or five millipaper. Don't get the thin stuff, because when you tighten it up, that that crushes anyway. We'll just get that on there. That's the power valve end cap on. I just need the bolt and this, the washer in the middle with some Loctite on. I've just found that. Been looking for that a while. Put this on when you put these on, lock tight them on, because them screw always comes off. Just tap that in with a hammer. Them screws because they're just little compared to the ones on the other side were longer. That screw will be alright, so I'll lock tight that screw. So that's the end cap on that side now with a lock tight in the, the little nut. I'm just going to put the flywheel on now. Just like I said before in one of the videos, make sure nothing's underneath there because this is magnetised. But there's nothing under. That's where the wood roof for key fits. And if you look up there, there's the woodroof key there, sticking out the crank. So we'll just slide this, slide this over there. And when you look through there, you can you can see the woodroof key through that gap. When you're looking through, <coughs> that's on the woodroof key there. So then you've got that. That goes on. You got your nut. That goes on. And I found another clutch holding tool. It's got them on what fit in flywheels on these. So we'll just be putting them into the two holes there. Just to keep the flywheel still. So I'll knock that nut up. And that's the clutch holder tool on. Just tighten that little up so it's tightened up. That's the flywheel on now. So we'll get the carb on now. That's the carb on. On the front of the carb, there's a, like a little square, and on this black bit, there's two square bits of a square in the middle. What the square on the carb fits in now. That's when you know you've got your carb right. So I'm just taking this bit up now. I don't know where the boost bottle is yet. So that's the carb on now. Still got to do the back. So I'll do the back now. At best. The big clip what goes round. Just take that off. 
when you're putting the carb on. So just get a thin screwdriver. So it gets drained over. And that's it on now. You've got three little rubber tangs. That one. That one. And there's one round there, I think. Somewhere. There, that one there. And I think they're just a grip. Pliers to push it over, but I think they were drip up pliers, so normally just push that over by hand. That's it, just pushed on by hand. Just always make sure it goes on that side as well because that side sometimes it pops back. But when you put the clip on, which that which is that, you can keep this this bit pushed back. While well, you're tightening the clip up, so we'll get this clip on now. That's the clip on now. On the other side as well. If anybody was wondering what it was, what was a long shape, I always bend them off, and then when I put them back on, I bend them round, and then put the bolt through. It's much easier. So I put the bike all back together. Apart from the exhaust, oil casings on, carbs on, CDI's rigged up and put on. I start to tape them wires up. These ones here. Carbs on, boost bottles on. That cooling pipe's on. That cooling pipe over there is on. Spark plugs on, tightened. I just need to find the chain. I don't know if I put the chain onto that one or not. I'm not sure. But the chain, then I can put that casing on and tighten the back wheel because it's slack. But that's it up now. It's that's it up now. It's all just ready to start. And I've got the gear shaft seal on now and I put the sump plug in the other side so I can total up oil so we also was going to say I rigged all the CDI unit up that's the plug when you hear about the three wire servo you've got them two wires there and there'll be a plug connector somewhere I'll try to see if I can find it that's it there so you've got that wire and that wire, it's a free wire connector they're on the 88, 1988 to 1997 bikes anywhere after that you've got a five wire servo like that plug there it's got four of these in and you've got a instead of that wire there you've got a red and white wire with a bullet connector going on so just if you ever think of putting a operational power valve on a older one make sure you find a free way of servo because they're rare just have a look at them just google them and you'll see them anyway i'm going to get the exhaust on front and back tanks in the cupboard in there and then that'll be it just waiting for tomorrow now just to start it up so we'll get the exhaust on now. So that's it. <coughs> so that's the exhaust on now. Tightened all up at the front. I don't know if you can see under there or not. It's all tightened up there. I haven't tightened this bracket. So I'm going to do that once it starts up. Tighten that. 
that one in there. That one there is offline, but they normally are because that's not a dead pipe, and that one is a dead pipe, so the different shapes. So already now, it's <laughs> all this side. I was going to wait and put the chain on, but if I'm just putting in the art to start up, I don't need the chain on because I don't know where I've put the chain, like I said before. Well, I'll just start it up like that. There's a petrol tank in there to put on, a blue one. So I'll just rig it straight up with that that pipe and it should fire straight up. Hopefully, it's running better than it blazes, then I can build it back up properly. But anyway, that's all for this video. First thing tomorrow, the tank will be on, it'll be in the yard getting its first start. Alright, thanks for watching.